it's Ashley here and we have Sheena and I'm so excited to talk to you today Sheena about your experiences with Angelic Reiki and how Angelic Reiki has helped you and some of your family members and I thought it would just be really fun to have a little quick conversation around um, what it, it's like for you and um, what draws you back into it you know because you've you've done it a few times now so I'm really yeah. Really curious um, to get your perspective and how um, you enjoy it. Oh gosh, do you know what? It's, so I'm a I, I'm a BT therapist. My profession is, and you know, I, I had a salon and everything. So I I do all the hot stone therapy, the massages, but oh my god, this, yeah, this is another because the, the massage that I do is like sports massages, so you get in there for healing, so you try to get all the knots out and everything like that, but this angelic reiki, it's like a massage, but you goes into the you know vessel basically. This is the universal deep tissue massage because <laughs> honestly, I feel like you get your body kind of drained and anything that doesn't need to be in there, it just gets released and you feel it. You feel it. So this is just it's just honestly a godsend. Honestly, it's it's a healing on another level. Wow, I didn't realize that you were um, like a Reiki therapist, like a yeah. massage therapist. That's so yeah. amazing. So with all the hot stones, all the other, other Reiki, everything that you do, um, what's the difference like for you? Like when you do it, like, I guess I'm, I, I don't have any real knowledge on any other style of Reiki. So I'm just really curious what for you that, that comparison is. Well, the thing about this one is not, after it's kind of done for that whole hour, you feel it, feel the presence and the aura with you for the whole days, for a couple of days, for a week at least, and you feel the kind of, you're more relaxed and then you, you kind of feel the presence of the angels and higher beings kind of around you and still working with you. And to your own aura, you know, you kind of feel like, like a negative kind of shell just kind of slips off. Like it's not, it's not needed anymore. It's, you get like a really thorough cleanse. So you can't get that with a, you know, a hand massage. <laughs> Can we say like physically, you're, you're, with the, what, what you're doing, the angelic therapy, having all the angels with you and the higher beings of love and light, you know, you can feel like when I'm having it done, I kind of make, uh, make my room into a therapy room. So I light candles, I put, you know, incense on, um, and I put crystals around me just to, you know, get a bit more of an impact because I feel like I will get the healing and so will my crystals get like a cleanse as well and empower it. So yeah. to empower my crystals around me. Um, and, oh, you know, it's just phenomenal. For example, when I'm, when I'm laying there, um, you can, you get every time, I've had it done about three or four times with you and I won't stop. I will keep on getting it done as with my family. Um, so being a massage therapist, knowing that this works and has more of a beneficial effect for your spirit, for your soul, mm -hmm. you know, it's there's no reason for not to get it done. If you want a cleanse, if you want to start releasing, open up your energy, this is the one to go for, I'd say. Oh. That, wow, that's an amazing endorsement. <laughs> so, I, mean, I think I'll write an essay about it, honestly. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> uh, so I have a few questions. Um, so your family, um, do they have they done Reiki before? And how, how have they experienced the Reiki that they've received from me? Because I haven't really heard much on that perspective. Okay, so um, because I knew it's healing and because, you know, my family, they've, my brother's got um, skin problems, skin issues, which we're going to sort out soon. Um, and my auntie and my, you know, so they've got a few issues. Everyone has, you know, everyone's got a few issues. Right. Yeah. So I thought, you know what, this might be beneficial for my family because if they don't want to go to hypnotherapy or if they don't want to go out there, go see the doctor, you know, it might be good to try this out, to kind of try, because I, I'm a believer of any health issues you have, it kind of starts within, you bring it up yourself via anger, uh, via issues or traumas you've had whilst growing up. 
Mm-hmm. So I think your inner child needs healing. So anyway, so I ask them, and it is important to get permission, otherwise it won't work. Yes, you know? exactly. Mm-hmm. I do not send any energy to anyone that I have not heard mm-hmm. um, have expressly given permission, and the angels just won't do it. And it's not ethical um, for anyone to send reiki specifically reiki because it is very kind of powerful energy and it can kind of wipe you out so um (laughs) yeah unless there's express permission so if anyone signs up you're gonna see a little post in my group um in the healing asking for that permission and that's why i do it because it's really important do you know what it is actually my um uncle my husband my aunt auntie's husband he is so stubborn oh my god he's stubborn and i think the third time we had it done i said to my auntie or you know ashley's going to do the healing and then she, there's three of them, her, her daughter, and her husband. She goes, oh, yeah, all three of us want to get it done. I said, oh, does he want to get it done? She goes, yeah, he just, he just, you know, now it's, I think the aura in the house as well has calmed down, so he must have noticed himself. Yeah. And I think he, he, for months, he had such a heavy, chesty cough. Mm-hmm. Um, and when he listened to the healing, and bearing in mind he's stubborn, so for any stubborn guys out there, even ladies, <laughs> you know, it still works because they said, you know, after that, his cough stopped. Oh my gosh, wow. Yeah. That is amazing. He's not a smoker, nothing like that. It was just a cold cough that kind of was just stuck in there, kind of thing. So, yeah, it, honestly, it's just, and even I think because they're my family, I don't know, every family bickers and has like little arguments and silly things like that. Right. I'm a personal believer that your family in this life was your family in one of your past lives. Mm-hmm. So any karmic issues there, it kind of cleanses it and clears it. Mm-hmm. You know, and, you know, I'll be honest with you, since then, we've not had any issues with, within each other. Wow. So it's relationships that need sorting out, mm-hmm. you know, obviously try and get permission. But it's just honestly, it's such it's a healer again. So I, I can't even I can't even list how many reasons this does healing and what impact it does because there's so many. It's so many. Yeah. yeah. Speaking to that part about the relationships, um, really that's brilliant that you bring that up because um what Angelic Reiki does is it looks at your spiritual body, your mental body, your emotional body, and your physical body, and how in line are they, and it helps bring all of that in alignment. And when you're um, releasing a lot of maybe your mental or emotional kind of heavy, lower vibrational energy, the, I guess the uh, wind in, in the sails kind of dissipates. Like there's no reason for you guys. I'm getting chills, I'm literally getting chills all on this side whilst you're saying that. It really- yeah. Yeah, I'm actually getting goosebumps too. (laughs) Uh, We'll have to check in on that in a minute. But um, yeah, it's just like, there's no reason for that. It it just kind of um, gets uh, transmuted. And it's just like, you're ready to move on and things just kind of get cleared up. And that's for your relationships, for your energy, just for your outlook. You know, once you really deal with all of the bodies together, and recognize that they're all related to each other and they all affect each other. That's like why um, I honestly, I had some anxiety when I was in college and I had eczema on my shins Mm -hmm. and I didn't really put two and two together. I had some diet changes and I really worked on managing my anxiety and my uh, eczema went away. Like I don't ever have eczema on my shins anymore. So it's like really a direct connection there. And, um, you know, our emotions, our mental state, things can really affect our physical yeah. state. So um, it's just really cool to see how things can kind of fall into place once you release a lot of that stuff. And that's so brilliant about your uncle and like your family. Uncle, my kids, everyone's yeah, yeah, seen my kids now. Mm-hmm. Um, is three and Dylan is five. I always add them to the list as well. So I am, even though they don't, I don't feel like they need any healing in this current path of their journey, but anything from their past lives, I call them in to kind of transmute any negativity so it, it doesn't get brought into. And I think that's why they're in my life now because I'm here to kind of transmute any negativity from past lives that I carried on. That's why they're with me so I can 
complete that now as well. Yeah, definitely. And don't forget as well, whatever you put your attention in, if you're going to do the rec angelic recce for A, B, and C, it's going to be for A, B, and C because you believe it in your heart as well. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And I do in the group healing space, and this is true for my one on ones, but in the group healing space, I save a few minutes for you guys to internally or, or externally verbalize what is it that you want to be taken care of. And then um, on my side, I always ask for anything that you need in this moment. And really, whatever is going to bring everyone into perfect, radiant health within their self. So um, I ask for everything, anything and everything that you would need. Oh, she's like, Sheena, when it's on, I'm adding, oh, and for this, and for this, oh, can you do this? Do it. Oh, do it. Yes. yes. All of it. <laughs> and um, I do see a question over here, a comment about um, permission really quickly. Um, so Lisa was asking about for pets. Um, for pets, I um, basically, you know, I don't need permission for pets um, because pets often just join in the healing anyway. Um, the angels are going to work with your pets if they're in the room. Um, if they want to come right up to you when you're receiving the healing. And I've seen like countless pictures of pets joining people um, during the healing. <laughs> And um, they're just going to get up and walk off when they're done. So they really have a good sense of what they need. And when they're done, they just leave. And the angels don't, like, overburden them or, you know, send tons of energy their way. So um, I don't really need permission for um, pets. Uh, for younger children, like, Sheena, you're saying you always add them on. Um, like, you're the parent. And so kind of right now in this role, uh, I don't really need um permission to send them energy but if they're a child of i want to say like 13 or older like that's really when they have a good understanding and can um give their permission so if you have an older child if any of you are interested um let me know and uh, just say that they agree in the group wall so that way i can send them that energy as well and um, i also feel like it kind of awakens you a lot more as well doesn't it <laughs> draws in energy and light where you could feel it. I normally feel it on my third eye, my stomach. I feel I can I know this might sound crazy and scary. It's not. It feels nice. It's like a you can kind of feel them kind of taking stuff out that no longer serves me. I can when I'm laying down, so you kind of feel the motions all around different parts of your body and um at the on my feet I can actually like feel like a pull. Like, like they're draining me out kind of thing. Yeah. You know? so. And I'm literally getting a visual right now from your angels of them pulling out, you know, that magic trick with all the, the handkerchiefs of all the different colors. Yeah. They're yeah. pulling that out of your feet. That's what they're showing me. That oh, they do. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, fantastic. Okay. <laughs> next month, next month, I don't know this month. I'm going to be like, pull away, go on, carry on. <laughs> I can see what you're doing there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, it really, when you say like you feel it, it's not like a ton of pressure or it's not painful in any way. I often feel a lot of tingling, a lot of comfortable, really warm heat spots, um, yeah. coziness, just like a sense of relief, just emotional yeah. release too. Like, um, I know a lot of people have commented in a few of my group healings now that they just start crying and they don't really know why, but it's like you just really needed to release that. And honestly, tears are good because there's toxins in your body that can only be secreted through your tear ducts. So uh, it's it's really good to cry. <laughs> it's important. For release, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I have a few other questions here. Um, so Lisa's asking, can it help with um, her pet's anxiety? Her dog has a lot of stress. Um, do you feel like Reiki would help people and pets or anyone with anxiety? Oh, 100%. They're, it's still a soul. A cat is a soul. So yeah, 100%. I, I haven't got no question about that. Yeah, definitely. And um, I feel like the angels do a really amazing job of clearing your energy, um, your bubble that's around you, your energetic body. And anxiety, I've, I've noticed really, it manifests in the body in a lot of like the way our bodies react to things. 
Um, but it also really clogs up that energetic body with a lot of like chaotic kind of, um, I don't know, like debris. Almost. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like debris is kind of everywhere. So um, I've really noticed for um, a few people, some of my family have um, their, they have a lot of anxiety issues. And um, I've noticed after a few Reiki sessions, like, immediately after they just feel like so relaxed and released like they just feel much more calm and comfortable and they don't really have that fear factor that's kind of kicking in for them um when they have that anxiety so i think it, it definitely address that. i think as well though it's like if you have your angelic reiki healing but do your homework after as well meaning don't put that negativity back in so if you're getting angelic reiki for anxiety for example okay you've had it done today don't go next week and watch the news again and put that negativity back in because we must have different forms of release that we need to do over the past lives that we've had so okay so this time you're going to release for anxiety in two months time you might release for something that happened in one of your past lives so don't keep on falling back to the same patterns. Once it's released, let it go and let it stay there. You know, yeah. that's a really good point. It's 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 really important to do that inner work. And I think angelic reiki really helps jumpstart that inner work process. So for the anxiety example, um, you know, don't just jump into blasting yourself with the news or um, going out and, um, you know, imbibing in a lot of alcoholic beverages or drugs or anything that's going to like take you to a space where you are going to have a lower vibrational frequency. Yeah. So like, you want to stay. Don't go back like down the ladder again. You want to stay up. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's really important. And um, over the next three weeks after that initial healing takes place, there's still work being done. So yeah. um, as you're, you know, releasing, um, it's important to not keep stuff and other things in. <laughs> Uh, for sure. So I have some more questions over here. Um, do you have the healing on YouTube for the people to watch afterwards or do they need to join the Facebook group? Awesome question, son. So what I do is I'll add everyone into a Facebook group. It's a private secret group that um, uh, you, because you've signed up and you've paid for the healing, you get added into that. And then I do the healing live in that Facebook group. And it's just for you guys. I don't put any of my healings on YouTube. Um, I was actually thinking about doing um, in a, uh, not an example healing, but holding a session um, with the permission of the individual and posting it on YouTube. But I don't post group healings or anything um, because people have paid for that service. And um, that's a really private space and people yeah. need to feel really safe to share their experiences and open up and, uh, you know, share how they're feeling. So I keep it very private. And if you're not able to join, say, right at 11 or you get busy, or you're just not able to join me live at all, I leave it on the group wall for 48 hours. So you have that window to go back and watch the video and the energy is still there. It's not gonna dissipate. Oh, yeah. um, and I think I watched it six times. Oh my gosh. <laughs> six times, like every night during the day, I thought, right, you know, because it no matter what time of the day it is, I remember my son was on the couch and I was sitting on the other couch and I said to him, honey, I'm just going to listen to this. And he left me to it. And I felt, I never fall asleep during the day. And that, I just listen to it and it just, so play it as much as you can because the healing still happens. Yep. Yeah. And it's, yeah, going to come in full force. And um, yeah, it's, it's just as powerful as when I went live. So um, feel free to do that. And um, yeah, so I hope that answers your question, son. Um, we have another question here. What's the patient feeling when receiving a Reiki healing? So I think we talked a little bit about that, Sheena. So you felt a lot of like tingling and pressure, pulling things out of your feet. Um, is there anything else that you want to speak on? I think that my soma, sorry, my um, chakras get worked on. So they get deep, deep and thorough cleanse. Um, when my auntie had it then, she was saying she was laying there and her arm kept getting lifted up. So I don't know. 
So they know what they're doing. My mom said something happened. I can't remember now. Should, but everyone has different experiences. So, um, and even when I'm laying on my bed and I, you're starting to do the session, I could just feel like the aura of my room kind of like just fill up. Um, it's just it's quite intense, but it's soothing because you know you you just feel so secure, so secure. It's you know what? It's just. That's my favorite. <laughs> this is my favorite. I love it. I, I love it so much. And that's a really good point as well. Um, in the group healing, I like to kind of give us some time to be present in our body and in our room. So I like to do a little exercise where we just kind of sense the room. What does it feel like? What's the temperature like? And then I ask everyone to do like a body scan. So just kind of in your mind's eye scan down your body to see what are you feeling is there any like tense muscles or are you feeling like maybe some heat in your body are you cold like what's kind of going on and then as you are receiving the reiki i feel like that kind of prep work of kind of getting a sense of what's going on helps you like get a sense of what's happening in the moment and um, you saying your room fills up you know like you feel a shift um, I think that's really, really cool. And uh, whoever you want to call in to work on you as well, just call them in. Just call them in. And if you fall asleep during the session, again, that's fine. If anything, it's probably better because your ego isn't kind of questioning anything. It's totally clear, and you you let it be. You let let spirit just work on whatever they need to work. Because my husband falls asleep straight away. <laughs> And even even he's like when he wakes up he, in the morning when I asked him how it was he goes Sheena he goes I can't believe how zen it was he goes literally like if your body's where it is it kind of like deflates kind of thing because you are just so on a relaxed zone it's just phenomenal and that's coming from a guy yeah that's <laughs> awesome he's like Sheena when's actually doing it again <laughs> that's so awesome. Yeah. Um, so, okay. I have some more questions here. Uh, how many Reiki sessions should a person have to heal past and emotional health? I think it's a really awesome question. Um, you can have as many Reiki sessions as you would like. Sheena, how many have you had so far? I think I've had four. This might be my fifth one, I think. But whenever you started it, I've, I've had it every session. Yeah. So this will be my third group healing. Um, it feels like there's so many. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's kind of been in short amounts, short amounts of time. So, um, uh, my third group healing. But um, honestly, I have a few people who've come back to me um, almost every month since I started doing Reiki, and it lasts for three weeks. And you can come out, come back as many times as you'd like. Um, but once, kind of what we were saying before, Sheena, like once you receive a healing, uh, say for anxiety, like you kind of have to do some homework to release and to continue that process. Um, and really it depends also on the trauma or the healing that's required. Uh, there are some uh, ailments, like physical ailments, like pretty big ailments like cancers or um, like fibromyalgia, chronic pain ailments that may take some more time to heal because there's some really deep-seated um, energies, traumas, wounds that we need to heal that are physically manifesting as that ailment. Um, so it may take some time and it may take a few different sessions and it's really just case by case basis. Um, but if you're not experiencing something like a cancer or like a chronic pain uh, illness, um, you probably are pretty good with one or two like ever, every so often, however you, however much you want to do it. Um, and it really, like I was saying too before, it jump starts that inner work. Yeah. So you kind of feel prompted afterwards to take more action steps exactly. to go and do things or you know release a lot of stuff. So it kind of helps start that process. Yeah. Kind of getting charged up, isn't it? Kind of charge you up for you yeah. know, more blessings and you know getting kind of um, things that are good for you. For example, you know taking a medium course or going for a jog. Um, 
reading, reading books that would actually help your inner self grow. So it all kind of links together. If I think from March till now, the things that I've been doing in between, you know, it's, it's, it's actually, yeah, I'm happy. I'm really happy and it, help, it helps you because because I brought my family in as well and my kids and everyone, I feel so like relaxed. I'm not stressed or anything thinking, oh, are they going to be okay? So I'm so going to be okay because I feel like their mind is now, they don't, they don't think, they think with their heart now. It's, it's, you can oh. see, to see the difference in them, you know, and then they're, they're starting to love themselves as well. Oh, wow. That's yeah. so beautiful. That's so beautiful too that you can see that shift in them and call it out, recognize it and like really reflect that to them because they probably aren't really thinking about it in that way or <laughs> processing it in that way. You know, how people, when you shift or when you're growing, you don't really see how far you've come all the time. So that's so cool that you can you can well, tell them that. I would, definitely, I will, yeah. I, but I would say definitely lay down when you're having the treatment because it's like when you do get a massage then when you go to a spa or something you lay down and have that treatment so you have full effect mm -hmm. and you, what I normally do um, I get ready for bed um, I brush my teeth and everything and lay down so I know I won't need to get up again so after listening to the session and having um, the healing done I can just go straight to sleep yeah and what I do as well I do kind of say continue working on me throughout the night as well mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. Giving that permission allows it to just carry it forward and uh, continue on. Um, and Sun actually just asked that question. Do they need to, does, do people need to lay down when watching it? And like you, Sheena, I'd highly recommend you lay down or at least be in like a comfortable chair where you can kind of recline back yeah. um, and allow yourself to kind of drift a little bit because, um, it's definitely um, something that will send you off. Like just you get so relaxed, like you don't really want to have to get up no. or go to the bathroom or, you I know. I know, like, that is so annoying. So pee before you have to lay down. Yeah, I actually kind of call that out in my group healings. I've, I've done that a few times. Like, okay, now's the time. Get yeah. up, get your water, yeah. go to the bathroom. <laughs> do what you need to do because uh, we're going to be relaxing yes yes exactly <laughs> um okay i have another question here um this person i'm sorry i don't see their name because i'm just on Streamyard right now but they're asking if they're ready to take the 101 course they're really drawn to it and they've also had a reiki healing and it's absolutely amazing um so i'm immediately getting yes you're ready if you're really drawn to it and sheena you can speak on this as well, well um, I'll, I'll kind of say that your soul your soul is it's not, it's not even you saying it your soul's recognizing that's going to be good for you and it's saying yes so yeah I'm, i've got a big fat yes saying i'm ringing so they're cheering your angels are cheering you on saying do it do it <laughs> yeah definitely um so lisa has a good question here is there anything reiki healing cannot heal and i will say yes there are things that angelic reiki cannot heal and those things are anything that you are not willing to allow healing for mm -hmm. um, the angelic reiki can do physical healings um, emotional spiritual mental healings um, is very very powerful but if you're not ready to like learn the lesson that you need to learn or release that energy they're not going to be able to to help you with that because you haven't given that permission or you haven't moved forward in that direction to release it and allow it to be healed so um that's part of too that uh free will choice that agreement that you're going to receive a healing um and you know i i have had a few people who i've done angelic reiki on one-on-one -on -one that were skeptical or were not really in a space to be open to whatever needed to take place and they really didn't have you know a lot of experiences or they didn't they didn't say much about um, anything changing because I honestly don't think anything really changed for them because they weren't really ready to change or receive that, 
that exactly. you know, and if they set the intention prior to the treatment that nothing's going to change then nothing's going to change like what i normally do i always put my crystals around me or i put my rose quartz under my pillow and i put the heat clear quartz you know i just scatter whatever i can around me so then i will get the healing that the crystals will boost my healing and they will get charged yeah by the healing so because i set that intention that is exactly what it's going to be you yeah. know yeah and if anyone else wants to do that i highly recommend it um i have crystals around me when i'm doing the reiki and um honestly i don't have to do a lot of like maintenance care with them they're just always full and charged because there's just so much energy around that they're ready to go all the time so that's a really excellent idea and i highly recommend anyone else interested in doing that yeah. to do that when they get their the healing because that's that's super cool. What kind of crystals do you um, use? I got um, rose quartz, clay quartz, and I got the grounding tourmaline one as well, and tiger's eye. Yeah. Um, and what else? I've got so many. I've got citrine, amethyst. Um, this one is it titanium, is it? Is that what it is? Oh, wow. I'm not sure. It looks like a, a an amethyst cluster that maybe has... Um, an aura to it um i'm not sure what kind that is that's really beautiful this one is really um is it lemuria is it um so it might be a clear quartz lemurian is yeah. the the lines the inclusions in the quartz okay. itself. so um, yeah. so you know what yeah you can't go wrong really can you no, you really can't. <laughs> Crystals are amazing and they're so grounding and just the energy in and of itself is amazing to have that around you. Um, the rose, any kind of quartz is going to be great for boosting or amplifying that energy because that's what they do. They kind of, they amplify. So that's a really good, um, good uh, set of crystals to have. And I'm seeing here a question, any type of crystal, any type of crystal you want, like I just said, the quartz will really boost that energy. Um, but any one that you're drawn to, yeah. have it with you, have it in your hand, or have it by your head when if you're laying down, anything like that. Yeah. Definitely. Um. So I have a question here. Does angelic Reiki have similarities with the healing that took place with the subconscious that Dolores Cannon invited to do the healing at the end of her sessions? I'm not familiar with the subconscious healing that Dolores Cannon has done, um, but I'm getting from my healing angel Henry that yes, it is very similar. Um, there is a lot of subconscious pro deprogramming taking place, a lot of healing, a, a lot of releasing done. Um, so uh, he's saying, yeah, it's similar. That's pretty cool. I've also heard as well from Archangel Michael that the best form of healing in the world is angelic reiki healing there's different types of reiki but angelic reiki is the best form of healing for your subconscious your soul mm -hmm. without a shadow of a doubt yeah, yeah if you can do it every time ashley has a ses session why why not you know if you can afford it and it's only was it 25 dollars isn't it yeah, I only put my group healings at $25 because I want people to be able to afford it to, to try it out, to get a sense of what it's like. Um, and if you like it, do a one on one, you know, can get more personalized um, messages and visualizations. That's one thing that really comes out of um, every angelic Reiki that I do. I always share um, afterwards what has been taking place so what do the angels do for you as well as any messages from anyone um, any sort of visualizations anything that the person can focus on or the group can focus on to facilitate more healing so um, there's a lot of really cool things that come out of that the last uh, group healing that we had sheena i it was i was so tickled pink it was like we were at a barbecue and everyone was there and all of the the, I did the same thing whilst you were saying you could see and i could just imagine us being at the beach kind of with a big fire and there was a big circle of i can't even recognize everyone on the beach because i've never seen them but i felt like everyone who was in the healing were there and the higher beings of love and light and it was just so powerful 
Yeah. Yeah, it was like a party. All of our souls were there. All our higher selves were there connecting and learning from each other. And that was like really, really, really cool. I, I was just floored by how um, connected we all were. And it was just really safe and supportive and just really beautiful. And I think that too, that sense of connection with uh, in the group healings is one of my favorite things because um, you all are receiving the same energy and you're yeah. getting a lot of things done, different things done, each person's unique. But at the end, it's really fun to have everyone share what did they see. And I like to read out the comments. And um, most of the time, there's a lot of things that everyone sees. And yeah. I think it was dolphins as well. I remember kind of just I felt like I was flying over like, like big rocks, sandy rocks. and. The river was just um, in the middle and I was just flying. And then all of a sudden I could see like dolphins appear in front of me. But there was just, there's just so much going on. It's just, but it would be good to kind of have a book as well um, of just for Reiki and just write down, you know, and then when you have another one done, see, just, it's just nice to see the journey within Reiki, what you see and what you feel. That's a really good idea. That's so cool. Um, I have a journaling with spirit workbook that um, kind of gives a space to document um, people's channeling journey as they mm -hmm. learn to channel and as you're building your your spiritual practice. Um, but I never really thought about doing one specifically for Reiki, creating a space where you know you can document how you are feeling and if you know. That'll maybe I'll do that later on, but um, just having a notebook or a piece of paper where you can just yeah. write down the feelings that you had or things that have changed afterwards. I think that's going to be really helpful for a lot too. Yes. Lots of people, um, seeing okay, three weeks down the road, your anxiety levels are like next to zero, you know, like or whatever's changed for you. And also writing that down, setting that attention, so it shall be. It has, you know, you've written it down that it's helped, so you've got that in your mind. So it's, it's just, you know, it, I, I should, even though it's, it's, you're not like a doctor or anything, but for me personally, I'm not talking for anyone else, um, but for me, I feel like I get healing medically from my angels and from my my spirit kinds. You know, I just feel some because I used to have my knee used to hurt after having my kids. I don't know why my my left leg used to hurt me every now and again and it doesn't hurt me at all wow that's yeah. brilliant yeah, yeah i think um angelic reiki can heal a lot of very physical ailments um i of course would not recommend only doing angelic reiki to heal something yeah. Definitely work <laughs> with the doctor do the regular medical you know practice whatever uh, medicines that you're looking for. But I feel like angelic Reiki really boosts healing in tandem yeah. with that medical healing um, because it's getting to the root of the problems. Uh, you know, it's getting to that, maybe that spiritual trauma that you've had before or a past life karmic trauma that's kind of affecting this life. And it, it really um, releases you from that. It helps dissipate those uh, connections and, um, it's really important. And on your knee, um, Sheena, I'm getting that there was energy buildup and it happened after you, your pregnancies and the Reiki helping to release that. That's why it was kind of feeling, I'm feeling like it was getting stiff or like kind of really hard to bend your knee and just really uncomfortable. Yes, yes. Definitely. Yeah, and pregnancy does crazy stuff to bodies. So. <laughs> <laughs> so it's definitely something that could happen. Um, can you also have it done if you if anyone's pregnant and stuff like that? Yes, actually, yeah. Um, just like for children, um, if there are any pregnant ladies that join the group healing or come to me for one on one, um, it's good to know if you are uh, with child. But um, uh, the healing will be a little softer. Um, I always ask, you know, only give the energy that they really need in that time, in that moment. Um, and often um, the healing may be cut short, not cut short, but taper off for pregnant women or for young children, really young children who their just body can't physically handle 25 minutes of angelic Reiki healing. So um, I always ask the angels to 
assess the situation for everyone and taper it back if that's what's needed for that person. And um, for pregnant women, it's definitely uh, recommended to do shorter amounts of time, um, but they can still receive Reiki because it's so gentle. So yeah, um, I have one final question here and uh, let's see here. So Christina is asking, if there's can be any interference with karma or life lessons so for example if you come uh to learn or come to have a fear of needles uh, but there's something behind that fear of needles um, can angelic reiki heal that fear of needles or will it only be healed when she or someone understands the lesson and um, <clears throat> there's kind of, I'm getting a sense that there's some nuanced, uh, there's some nuances to that question, Christina. So if you just have a fear and um, it's just, you had a bad experience and you're just afraid of needles, which I'm totally afraid of needles. So I should pay attention to this. <laughs> I am, I just think it's really gross having something stuck in me. <laughs> so like, that, like in my skin, it just grosses me out. Um, <laughs> But um, uh, so if there is a fear, maybe there's some trauma behind it, angelic Reiki can definitely help you heal from that original trauma. And that in and of itself kind of takes that fear away. It kind of makes it like you've recognized, okay, you had this uh, fear mm -hmm. because of that trauma, but you're okay now and you can move forward. And it doesn't mean it's gonna be like that every single time. Like it kind of helps show you that this fear is not serving you and it you really don't need it. And so um, that's kind of what it, angelic Reiki can do um, around maybe those little fears and things like that. And then there are the nuanced part of this is I'm getting this from uh, Henry, my healing angel. There are some lessons that need to be learned um, but if there is a no need for that fear element to learn the lesson, the angels will come in and remove that fear element. Although you may still have a lesson to learn, you may still have to face um, that situation, maybe that fear of needles um, in a way that is going to be challenging for you, but you'll be able to then process it and move on after the fact, and it won't stick around for you. So. Um, yeah, there's, there's kind of layers to that, but, um, the lessons, if it's in a life contract and like, you have to learn that lesson, the angels are not going to, um, interfere with that. They will support you as best as they can, but you have to still face that lesson because that's what you signed up for. I feel like I've got Archangel Raphael here now, and he's saying as well, if it's in your life contract that you're going to have this health issue or something to learn he you can't change that so yeah no yeah i love archangel Raphael. <clears throat> excuse me oh i have a lot of energy coming in too my yeah. <laughs> choked up he's here and um if you any of you are feeling a sense of like just needing um a release needing healing definitely you know join the angelic reiki but you can also ask archangel Raphael to come in you can ask him to live with you like i know a lot of us have asked archangel michael to do that um he can come in and he can be with you and help you all the time as well and i just asked him last night to do that um and i feel like it's just really cool having him around and being there to just support constantly you know yeah. uh, so if you feel called to do that please do that because they have the time they have the energy they're not bound by space or time so it doesn't really it matter. The aura of the house isn't it it's just yeah just more cl clean and clear it makes yeah. a difference and just peaceful allowing yeah. not only yourself but anyone else in your house so your yeah. children or any pets to just be in that really like almost like a spa like space where you can yeah. just relax and get your hair down, you know, just yeah. really everything. So yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Sheena, for thank sharing you. your experience. I really, really appreciate you coming on here and just having a, a nice chat about oh, angelic. Pleasure. I had fun. It was really nice. And you know what? I'm just the type of person where if I know something is so good, I'm kind of like, 
like a blab on that. We're like, oh, have this one, it's so good for you. So, you know, you, you, some people got a habit of sharing bad news. I share good news. Oh, that's beautiful. And we need more people to do that. So thank you so much for stepping out and doing that. And I really appreciate it. And I am blown away by the amount of uh, stuff that you've seen just in your own family and your own self um, as a result of Angelic Reiki. So I'm just really honored that I've been able to help you with any of that. If any um, issues with family or if you can somehow get them to, you know, just, just have the scene and see how it goes. Once you've got permission, if, you know, just do it. Try that. Try to get the love back in that relationship by having angelic Reiki healing, definitely. Yeah. So beautiful. Well, again, thank you so much. And thank you to everyone who had great questions. And if you are interested in registering for the angelic Reiki, you can go to my website, channelingwithlove.com. It's just right here. And um, you can go to the book online tab and it's the first tile there. It's $25 per person. You can sign up four people at a time, which is pretty cool. And um, uh, it's going to be on July 25th in a private group. So once you sign up, I get an email with your name and your email address. And then I send a link to the group for everyone. So then um, you'll just be added to the group the day before the healing and then the healing takes place. Yeah. So yeah, thank you all so much and bye Sheena and have a great rest of your guys' day. Have a good day guys, bye, see you.